Hi, I'm Kohei Tokunaga from NTT Corporation. I'm a reviewer of Contenary and a maintainer of BuildKit. I'm joined today by Tao Peng and Group. Today, we will introduce and deep dive into faster container image distribution technique discussed in the community, which is called lazy pooling. First, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to lazy pooling. Pooling container image is known as one of the time consuming steps in the container lifecycle. This has been affected various kinds of use cases, including batch job execution and building images. Their efforts to minimize the size of container images, but not all images are minimizable. Research shows that pulling packages accounts for 76% of container start time, but only 6.4% of that data is read. The root cause of this issue is the current OCI images. In these images, each root FS layer is formatted as tar and optionally plus compression. Tar is not seekable and cannot perform a parallel extraction. So when we start a container, we first need to download the entire image content to the node, then extract each layer sequentially. If the image is large, starting up the container will take long. For solving this issue, Several OCI alternative image formats are discussed in the community. They aim to speed up container cold start, so they are sometimes called as accelerated images. Accelerated images enables a sort of technique of container image distribution called lazy pooling. This allows container runtimes to start up containers before the entire image content being locally available. Instead, necessary chunks of content, like files, are downloaded from the registry on demand. In this talk, we put focus on two of image formats and deep dive into how lazy pulling is achieved. EStarJDit is also a compatible image format for lazy pulling. This comes with prefetch optimization and content verification. This is proposed as a backward compatible extension to OCI image specification. NIDAS is a lazy pullable image format with prefetch, chunk data application, and E2E data integrity. This is compatible with OCI distribution spec and OCI artifact spec. This is incompatible to OCI image specification, so this is proposed as OCI image spec v2 format. First, let's take a look deeper look at EstarGZ image format. EstarGZ is an image format for lazy pulling. This is backward compatible to the current OCI image specification, so this is lazy pullable from OCI compliant registries as shown in the following figure. And even legacy and lazy pulling agnostic runtimes can run this image as a non-lazy image. EStarGZ is now usable on a variety of tools, including Kubernetes, K3S, Conchanadi, Cryo, Podman, BuildKit, Canico, Co, Buildpacks.io, container Registry, etc. We will look at how EStarGZ look like with these tools in the later slides. EStarGZ comes with performance optimization and content verification. Prefetch optimization allows important files to be prefetched to avoid network overhead. EStarGZ is discussed in Continuity StarGZ Snapshot project. This is based on StarGZ image format proposed by CRFF but comes with performance optimization and content verification. As shown in the following figure, EStarGZ is compatible to gzip and usable as a valid OCI or Docker image layer. Each file is compressed as a separated gzip member and the offset to each member in the layer is recorded in TOC file appended at the tail of this blob. This enables random access to file entries and HTTP render request is used for the random access to the layer blob stored on the registry. 
eStarGitet supports prefetch of files that are likely accessed during container startup. These files are called prioritized files. Before container startup, container runtime prefetches them to mitigate the network-related overheads for reading them. Other files are fetched from the registry on demand. They are also fetched in background to make the image locally available as soon as possible. This shows the time to take for startup Python 3.7 image among three types of formats. Legacy images cannot start container before the entire image contents become locally available, so startup takes accordingly. Ethargeted no opt is ethargeted image without prefetch optimization. This shortens the time to take for startup but there is a runtime performance drawback because of the overhead of on-demand fetching. Ethargit can mitigate this by prefetching. Note that creating container takes longer than an optimized Ethargit because prefetch occurs during this step. Glassfish server image also shows performance improvement of pool by Ethargit image. And same as the Python image, Optimized ethargit mitigates runtime performance drawback of on-demand fetching. Lazy plug can be enabled on Kubernetes. As shown in the following figure, plugins are needed for CRI runtimes. Sargit snapshotter is used for continuity and Sargit store is used for cryo. We will introduce these plugins later. There is a real-world use case at CERN for speeding up analysis pipeline. K3S supports lazy pling of ethargit. This patch is already matched to the main branch, so will be included in version 1.22. Ethergit snapshot provides a kind node image that enables lazy pling of ethergit. This is a demo of running Hello World Golang CI as a workflow on K3S. Here I use the upstream K3S that supports lazy playing of ethergit and run it in k3d which is k3s in docker this workflow builds hello world golang binary it runs golang ci linter and gosec then builds a binary and finally it executes the binary in alpine ubuntu and federal containers Upper shows the workflow that uses ethergit image for the runner image of each step. Each step runs without waiting for the pull completion of the runner image. It takes about 52 seconds. Lower shows the workflow that uses normal non-lazy image. Each step need to wait for the pull completion, so it takes longer than the workflow with lazy playing. In this case, it took about 94 seconds. For continuity, Sargit snapshot plugin enables lazy blink. This is implemented as a remote snapshot plugin of ContentD. As shown in the following figure, Sargit snapshot mounts each Sargit layer on the node using a fuse. Each file contents are downloaded from the registry lazily. Sargit snapshot communicates with ContentD via GLPC API and provides fuse mounted each Sargit layers to ContentD. Using this configuration, you can perform lazy playing on Kubernetes. NADCTL, a Docker compatible CLI of Continuity, also supports lazy playing, so you can perform lazy playing on your terminal as well. This is a demo of lazy playing of Hello World eStarGZ image on Continuity with NADCTL. The upper console shows lazy playing of ethergit and the lower shows normal non-lazy pull. ethergit enables continuity to run the container without waiting for pull completion, so it finishes in about 5 seconds. Non-lazy image needs to wait for the pull completion, so it takes about 32 seconds.
for Podma and Cryo, Storage Store plugin enables Lazy Blink. This is implemented as an additional layer store plugin available from Podma version 3.3.0 and Cryo version 1.22.0. Additional layer store allows Podma and Cryo to acquire container image layers without pulling them from the registry. As shown in the following figure, Storage Data Store mounts extracted e Storage Data layer on the host using Fuse. Each file contents are downloaded from the registry lazily. Storage Data Store communicates with Portman and Cryo via file-based API and provides Fuse-mounted e Storage Data layers. By using Cryo with this configuration, you can perform lazy playing on Kubernetes. If you use Podman with Storage Data Store, you can perform lazy playing on your terminal as well. This is a demo of lazy playing of Hello World e Storage Data image on Podman. The upper console shows lazy playing of e Storage Data, and the lower shows normal non lazy pull. Podman finishes running e Storage Data in about 5 seconds. Already exist message shows that Podman acquired image layers from the storage data store. Non lazy image needs to wait for the pull completion, so it takes about 25 seconds. BuildKit experimentally supports lazy playing of e storage data formatted base images since version 0.8.0. In general, every build starts from preparing base images by from instructions of Docker file. When you build an image using large base images that aren't cached on the node, they need to be pulled there, and it can take a long time. This lazy playing feature is trying to solve it. You can use this feature via Docker build X as shown in the command example in this slide. As shown in the following figure, builds run without waiting for the pull completion of from instruction. Necessary files or chunks of the image are pulled on demand during copy and run instruction. A variety of tools in the community start to support creating e that images. BuildKit and Canico support building e that image. BuildKit supports building e that as one of the compression modes. You can use this feature through Docker BuildX. Compression equal e that option enables this feature. Canico supports building e that this is an image builder runnable in containers and Kubernetes. GTCR experiment is such that equal one environment variable enables this feature. There are image converters as well. CTR remote is a CLI command for container D. This is provided by starting the snapshot project. So you can fully customize and tune the e that image, including prefetch optimization. NARDCTL is a Docker compatible CLI for ContainerD. NARDCTL image convert subcommand converts an image to e storage data. NARDCTL is Docker compatible, so it has NARDCTL build subcommand. So you can build arbitrary e storage data images using build subcommand and convert subcommand together. Go Container Registry and Crane also supports image conversion. This is a library and a CLI command to interact with registries. GGCR experiment e equal 1 environment variable enables conversion from an image into e Tools like Canico, Co, and Buildpacks.io use Core Container Registry, so these tools also support e creation as well. As discussed in this talk, e that is now widely usable on tools in the community. For keeping interoperability of e that among these implementations, we are proposing e that to OCI image specification. Because e that is compatible to the current OCI image spec, we are proposing this as backward compatible extensions to the current OCI spec. Feel free to join the discussion. From the next slide, Tao introduced NIDAS image format. Thank you, Kohi. 
Hi everyone, my name is Talpan. I'm a staff engineer at Ant Group. I'm going to introduce the NetS image service to you. The NetS image service is an, an image acceleration service that we built in house at Ant Group and deployed largely on our production system. When we start building NetS, we make sure that we do support laser loading, laser pulling, but uh, we still want more from just laser, laser pulling. So here's the official list we have in NetS. First, it can support laser pulling with many prefetched policies. While we do, while we do pull images, NetS image from standard registry, we want to make sure that even if the network goes down, Accidentally, we can still access the data locally. So we have, so we we want to pull the data, prefetch the data before, even if the application doesn't access it, because it can it may access it later on. So we support prefetch prefetch, and we have different prefetch policies, such as semantically or hintedly or background just background prefetching. And uh, another thing we support is chunk level deduplication with native build cache. With this chunk level deduplication, we we can increase the dedup deduplicate ratio of a computer image not very dramatically. And with native build cache, we can it, it improves image conversion from a standard OCI image to NetS image very very largely. And uh, we support end-to-end -end data integrated. That means we we can optionally verify the data contents when we read any data locally or from the registry to make sure that it is the actually it is actually the data that is being built into the image. So the the reason is that uh, and sometimes there may be a local disk break or or some or there may be some bug that accidentally change the local image cache. With OCI image, the it will the, the application will never know will never know it. But uh, we want to provide the capability to find out such such situation so that uh, in NetS we can optionally verify it. And uh, NetS support uh, reproducible image building. That means we can build a NetS image from source on any machine. It will be it will not be affected by the local machine environment. Also, we su we support we the also the NetS image format is compatible with OCI in dissipation spec and artifact spec. So, it is the reason that. Then NetS is usable with a standard cloud registry. Also, NetS has rich container ecosystem integration. It works with Kubernetes, Docker, ContainerD, BuildKit, Harbor, and Dragonfly, and different runtime, different container runtimes such as RunC and Kata containers. It is very resource efficient and production ready. It costs. It, it, we have a very large scale deployment at Ant Group, and uh, the service is available via Alibaba Cloud Service. So, this is the architecture of a NetS. In the middle, the, we have a Fuse daemon, and it provides a uh, both Fuse endpoint and uh, VertIFS endpoint. Fuse, ver fuse endpoint allows the traditional RunC container to access the image data directly. And the virtual FS does the same for Kata containers. And uh, it has shared uncompressed local cache. So the local cache is uncompressed when being pulled from, from remote, remote storage. And uh, it will it, it only needs to be uncompressed once and it will be shared by different uh, data streamers on the same host. Also, we support single term board with extremely low memory footprint. We have less than five megabytes per per instance for each NetS schema, and uh, we can use Dragonfly between a registry and uh, 
and the NetApp service. So the image data can be distributed by our P2P network. So this is the core of the NetApp image service. We have a registry, our APS registry acceleration file system there. It has a mercury made it, it divides each image into two parts. One mercury metadata layer, it is self verifiable by mercury definition. And also it has chunk, chunk share data layer. So different, different images can share the same data chunk on the data layer. Also to be OCI spec compatible, to, to be OCI compatible, we introduced, uh, we just changed one field in the OCI image manifest. So we, as we introduced a meter, new meter type for the NetApp blob. And, and the rest of the manifest is compatible with the OCI artifacts and its win spec. So that means it is compatible with registry functionality as well, and it is widely working with many container registries such as many cloud registries, and it works with Docker registry, and also it works with Harbor. And this is uh, there's a putting benchmark for we we've done for NetApp, as we can see for OCI image, the end-to-end -end time for an OCI, OCI image creation, the, the time increases and the, and the image size increases. But uh, with NetApp, the time is mostly con consistent uh, or below four seconds for different images. And it, that NetApp works with a variety of tools. For, we provide a NetApp snapshot plug, snapshot plugin for container D. So here, this is a link for the snapshot. And uh, with with this plugin, NetApp works with mailing, mailing container container ecosystem components such as Kubernetes, via Kubernetes. It works with CI control. It works with node control and and it works with CI remote or CTI, CTI remote tool. And also, we we provide tools to manually convert an OCI image to NetApp image. That is, the tool is called NetApp file. And it many what it does is to download the image from remote registry and convert it to NetApp format and then push it, push it to a remote storage. So it's very easy to use, just call NetApp convert, destination source and destination target. And also we provide another tool, we, we provide build kit support to manually convert uh, or to manually build a uh, NetApp image. So this is, we have a PR there for build kit and uh, it, it can build NetApp image directly from a Docker, Docker file and push it to a remote registry. Mm, we, you know, even with manual conversion, people will ask for automatic automatic conversion. So we we start to work with the Harbor team to provide uh, automatic support for let us in the Harbor project. We have uh, designed there and we are working on the implement implementation. So the general idea is when when user push a, push an OCRV1 image to Harbor and the Harbor will call a image conversion service to convert it to NetApp. Also, the image conversion service is image format, image format agnostic. So right, right now, we we are we are working with this stuff with Kohei together on the ESRGZ support for for image conversion service as well. In future, we may support more image format for the same component.
and uh, on the standardization point, we are working with the OCI community to push uh, OCI artifacts manifest spec to the to the community. This main functionality is to map uh, is to map an OCI image manifest to an artifact manif manifest. So we can connect uh, let us, let, let us manifest to the original OCI image manifest and it will this will help the register to check the relation between different images and uh, we we are proposing inside the PR we are pro proposing let us image and an artifact type it's called cnc dot v1 dot rc1 the, the, this manifest is, is beneficial to its bomb, signature, NetAs, and scan results, etc. It is, very, it is widely usable for different uh, artifacts. Also, as we, also we are discussing with the OCI community um, proposing the V2 image spec. So we there, there is a brainstorming on what is a uh, what, what should the uh, v2 OCI image spec look like and the in, in the discussion folks uh, the, o, the OCI community listed uh, several key features um, such as reduced uh, duplication reduced uh, redu reproducible image building explicit uh, faces from objects and the metadata, the runtime data integrated, multiple faces from format and native native fish support. And we've we've analyzed the many many open source projects out there that support native fishing or improves data distribution, the, the image data distribution, such as P2P project Dragonfly and Kraken. All, all these projects and that like part of the requirements for the V2 support, V2 image format. But as we can see, that NetAs already supports most, mm, all, all these requirements naturally. Okay, we, let's, let's do some recap. Mm. We've introduced uh, both StarGZ and NetAs in this presentation and uh, the reason we do it is this mutual. We we are aware that the OCI images are large and slow. We need we need to do the image lazy pooling to start containers quickly. And the prefetching is a good friend to lazy pooling because we we can get data before even before the container actually use it. And uh, we 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 acknowledge that uh, container ecosystem adoption is very crucial for for this new image format. For G, for for Easter GZ, it its key feature is backward compatibility and uh, it's an extension to the existing OCI image spec. For NetAs, it's more future looking and uh, it's a proposal to the next generation OCI image spec. And uh, here's the uh, here are some information for the strategy project. It is 100% OCI compatible image format for laser pooling, and it is a sub project of CNCF graduated project container D. Here is the link for its resource and Slack, Slack page. Also, there are, there are pre converted images here. And for the NetS project, it is an image acceleration service with various improvements over the existing projects. And uh, it is a CNCF incubator project, Dragonfly sub project. And uh, here are the links to it, its source, its stack, and uh, uh, tutorial. So thank you everyone for watching this video and uh, we are taking questions and we will answer it later. Thank you.